Hello, I'm Hansa Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. Uh, if you think you've managed, you, you will manage to show progression from, from say, France 2019 um, moving forward? Definitely. Um, I think both as a player group, both as an organization and both as coaching staff, I think all of those areas have evolved. And I think despite the time we've had, um, I think it's about what we make of the time that we do have. And I think we've done a really good job of that. So I think um, as an entire group, we feel prepared for this tournament. Um, like you said, though, despite having maybe not as much time as a full unit. Thank you, Paul. Are there any additional questions? Yeah, Paul, you Thank you. Hey, Evan, uh, your thoughts about uh, Mexico, Mexico will be host in this tournament, will play with their people, with their atmosphere. How can you prepare for this uh, debut? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that question. Yeah, just your thoughts from the Mexican national team, how can you prepare to play against uh, Mexico here in Monterrey? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think for us, with preparing for any game, a lot of it is just focusing on what we do best um, and trying to, um, you know, use our strengths to our advantages, obviously. And, you know, it's going to be a full stadium tomorrow night. Um, and Mexico is a very quality team um, with their own strengths. And I think it's important to really just focus on us and um, to kind of implement all the things we've been working on. Next, we'll Crystal Davis. Hi, good evening all, or good afternoon. Sorry if I'm uh, reiterating a question that's already been asked. I literally couldn't hear any audio, so I apologize um, beforehand. Havana, welcome back. How does it feel to link up with the girls once more? And also, has the muscle memory clicked in? <laughs> um, it's really good to be back with the group. I feel like it's kind of been a long time for me. Um, I missed some of the earlier pre-qualifiers because of injury. Um, and it's honestly just been so refreshing to be back with the group. I'm excited. It's a it's a really talented group, um, and we've had a really positive start so far. Thank you, Crystal. And if we don't have any other hands, um, the last question that I will ask here is from Glenn in the chat. Um, Havana, how would you fancy Jamaica's chances ahead of uh, the tournament? I definitely fancy Jamaica's chances. I think you know that we tend to get underestimated and I think that can be used to our advantage. Um, I think this is one of the most talented groups that I've, I've been a part of with um, Jamaica so far and I'm just really excited to see how it all comes together. Thank you so much, Amanda. We will be joined with head coach Donaldson shortly. Um, please stand by. Thank you. All right, coach, whenever you're ready. Coach, uh, Lauren Donaldson, if you have any questions, please use the raise your hand function at the bottom of your screen. Coach, if you could start off with your thoughts ahead of tomorrow's game. Well, I think tomorrow is going to be one of those games. All the Mexican fans are going to be out. The stadium is going to be packed. It's going to be rocking and rolling. And um, we have to come out in a positive manner and, you know, try to match the Mexican energy because I'm sure they're going to come out with a lot of energy. So we have to try to match it and, you know, figure a way how we're going to get a result. Uh, we will start off with Sheridan Allen. Good day, coach. Good day, man. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, all right. Last time we spoke, you said you you um when you guys were in camp in Colorado, you had some issues regarding the, the team's fitness. Um, has there been any improvement 
in that regard since then? Yeah, we have had um, improvement in the fitness area. Uh, hopefully, we haven't played a, played a serious game, so sometimes we can't judge that, but I think we're fit enough that we can continue the job. Any additional questions for Coach Donaldson? Please use your raising hand function. We will have those to Paul Nicholson. Yeah, hi. Um, how important is it to get a result for you in, 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 in this first game? Very, very important. Any tournament you go into the first game, a lot of time tends to be the most important game. But, you know, obviously we have to play three games. But it's not a do or die, but we would like to do in the first game, you know, try to get a result. It's going to be very important that, you know, we go after a result. And if we don't have any other questions, we'll go to the final question. We'll, we'll go to Crystal here before the wine to chat. Go ahead, Crystal. Good day, Coach. Um, welcome back and best of luck with the qualifiers. I'll try to whiz through my question as best as possible. Preparation-wise, how much of an advantage does the host Mexico have over us, given that they've already played two friendlies against Peru, and unfortunately we've been made to play scrimmage matches to no fault of your own? Yeah, the Mexican organization, I mean, it, it, it's quality. Their preparation has been good. They, you know, they have changed a lot of stuff in the past past four years because, you know, we didn't qualify for the last one. But again, playing games and being at home, that's usually a big advantage. I mean, I don't have to spell that out. So we have to come in again and try to figure out how we're gonna, you know, <clears throat> swing the advantage our way. And, you know, that's gonna be a big, big task. task. But I, I think I like the chances of my players to do that. And I'm gonna just be very, 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 you know, positive about what they can do. I think, you know, we, we have the group any that can do it, this group can do it. We'll go to my next. Hello, Anaivi from Ansadiari from Mexico. Uh, what is your analysis of Mexico? What will be their strategy to win? Well, I'm not going to discuss their strategy to win. I know what they're going to do. I mean, I think we know the Mexican, the Mexican national team, both the men and the women play a similar style. And I think I, I can just tell you they're going to be very energetic and they're going to come after us early. And, you know, their strategy that, as I say, you know, you know, it's their own. We think we know what they can do. So we, we're going to try to match it. So I can't discuss that part. And Coach, I believe you had a similar question already, but going to the chat, if there's anything else you want to add in about the, how you would rate the preparations for the team and what the move is like within Jamaica. Yeah, we've been in Colorado preparing and it's, um, you know, it's been a good time with the girls. I mean, some of the girls came in late because they have games and they were coming from all over the world. But, you know, to, to, to say we didn't prepare, we did have a, a, you know, a very good preparation coming into Mexico. So we'll see. We didn't have real practice. We didn't have a practice day to say what we, we had a few scrimmages that kind of helped us prepare. So, you know, for us to come out now and, you know, see how things work. I'm John Barnes, and you're watching Tarawa TV with Crystal Davis.